January 6, Faith of the Reformers. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. 1 Corinthians 15, 26. Luther declared, I persuade myself verily that the day of judgment will not be absent full 300 years. God will not, cannot suffer this wicked world much longer. The great day is drawing near in which the kingdom of abomination shall be overthrown. Daniel T. Taylor, The Reign of Christ on Earth or the Voice of the Church in All Ages, page 33. This aged world is not far from its end, said Melanchthon. Calvin bids Christians not to hesitate, ardently desirous, desiring the day of Christ's coming as of all events most auspicious, and declares that the whole family of the faithful will keep in view that day. We must hunger after Christ. We must seek, contemplate, he says, till the dawning of that great day when our Lord will fully manifest the glory of his kingdom. Has not the Lord Jesus carried up our flesh into heaven, said Knox, the Scotch reformer, and shall he not return? We know that he shall return, and that with expedition. Ridley and Latimer, who laid down their lives for the truth, looked in faith for the Lord's coming. Ridley wrote, The world without doubt, this I do believe, and therefore I say it, draws to an end. Let us with John, the servant of God, cry in our hearts unto our Savior Christ, Come, Lord Jesus, come. The thoughts of the coming of the Lord, said Baxter, are most sweet and joyful to me. It is the work of faith and the character of his saints to love his appearing and to look for that blessed hope. If death be the last enemy to be destroyed at the resurrection, we may learn how earnestly believers should long and pray for the second coming of Christ when this full and final conquest shall be made. This is the day that all believers should long and hope and wait for as being the accomplishment of all the work of their redemption and all the desires and endeavors of their souls. Hasten, O Lord, this blessed day. Such was the hope of the apostolic church and of the church in the wilderness and of the reformers.